So there are a number of tobacco cessation programs available in Lake and Geauga County. What are they and what do you have to offer? So there are quite a few. There is the Ohio Tobacco Quit Line, which is virtual, so they either can go on the Ohio Tobacco Quit Line website and make that referral, or they can call 1-800-QUIT-NOW, and they can get connected with a quit coach, and that coach can call them, provide them support, and also send them some free nicotine replacement therapy to get that um, started for them. There's also the Cleveland Clinic. They offer a tobacco cessation program and university hospitals as well. Both of those programs, they do need a physician referral and you get set up with a counselor and those can be in person or virtual as well. So there's two options with those. So if I uh, were to call Cleveland Clinic or university hospitals, do they work you know, with the branches that are out here in Lake County or do you have to go downtown? They work um, locally, so there's the Cleveland Clinic in Lake County um, off Center Street location. Right here in Manor. Yeah, yeah, right here locally in Manor, and also University Hospital as well, and I know they have a various locations throughout Lake County. Do you personally offer any presentations on tobacco cessation? Yes, we do. We offer presentations to agencies, organizations, and schools talking about um, AAR, which is Ask, Advise, Refer. We also give briefing presentations um, to schools and also community members that want to know more about vaping and also other tobacco resources that they may not know about. What do these programs look like? I mean, what do the, the presentations look like? Um, so it varies between each agency and location just because we want to make sure it's personal for them and it fits their criteria and their um, population needs. So with um, schools, we talk to the students about the health effects of vaping, the cost of vaping, um, also the environmental factors that people don't think come from vaping um, with the pollution of like the vape products, also cigarette products going into like the water pollution as well because they don't disintegrate in the environment. So we can do presentations geared toward like elementary kids and make it more simplified um, and then we can include more details for like middle school and high school students and get into more of those factors of this is how much it costs to smoke cigarettes, this is how much it costs to vape. If you buy a vape product um, like three times a week it can cost X amount of dollars per year. Well, where can residents find out more information about these services? So they can go on the Lake County General uh, Health District website and go under the Residence tab and click on Tobacco Cessation and we list all of the programs that I discussed today. University Hospitals, Cleveland Clinic, and also the Ohio Tobacco Quit Line. We also partner with Lake Geauga Recovery Centers as well and they have a tobacco cessation and substance use program. Speaking more about Lake Geauga Recovery Center is our partner, Christy. Um, she will be talking about their tobacco cessation program and the substance use program. Hi, Christine. Thank you for having me. Um, my name is Christy Giliotti. I'm a tobacco prevention specialist and certified health education specialist at Lake Geauga Recovery Centers. Um, as Christine said, you know, for cessation services, we do offer those for those um, individuals struggling with tobacco use disorder. We also offer an array of behavioral health services to those that are struggling with uh, alcohol and other drugs, as well as family members, um, to those struggling with gambling addiction, as well as offering residential treatment services. Um, you know, and I'm on the prevention side of things where I work, I'm definitely working a lot with youth for tobacco use prevention as well as vaping prevention. Um, in Geauga County specifically, um, I partner with university hospitals to offer the diversion program for those that get caught vaping in schools, um, middle school and high school. And, um, you know, definitely focusing on those low, low SES populations as well as behavioral health populations in Geauga County as well as Lake County. So um, thank you for having us again. And, um, and also, if you want to learn more, um, visit our website at lgrc.us and there is our info email at lgrc at, or excuse me, info at lgrc.us. Thank you. Thanks, Christy. If they want to reach out to you, how do they do that? They can contact uh, me at the Lake County General Health District website, or they can just call and ask for Christine Schaefer.